Heiko Maas, Wikipedia Audio Heiko Joseph Maas is a German politician who is the current Minister of Foreign Affairs in the fourth cabinet of Angela Merkel, and took office on March 14, 2018. He served as Federal Minister of Justice and Consumer Protection from December 17, 2013 to March 14, 2018. He is a member of the Social Democratic Party. Moss was born in Saar Louis to a Catholic family and is a lawyer. Before his appointment to the federal cabinet he was active in state politics in Tsarland, where he served as Minister of the Environment, Energy and Transport, Minister of Economy, Labor, Energy and Transport and Deputy Minister President. Moss was born on September 19, 1966 to a Catholic, middle-class family in Saar Louis, a city near the French border that is named for Louis XIV of France. His father was a professional soldier who later became a manager at Saar Louis Body and Assembly, a car plant owned by Ford Germany, while his mother was a dressmaker. He graduated from the gymnasium in 1987 and served his compulsory military service from 1987 to 1988, he thereafter worked for a year at Tsar Louis Body and Assembly. From 1989 he studied law at Tsarland University, and he passed his first state examination in 1993 and was called to the bar in 1996. Early Life, Education, and Family He is a CO habitant with the actress Natalia Warner, and has two children from a former marriage. Moss was first elected to the Tsarland Parliament in 1996, under the mentorship of Oscar Lafontaine who would later leave the Social Democrats to found his own party. He served as Minister of the Environment, Energy and Transport from November 9, 1998 to September 29, 1999. Moss led the SPD into the 2009 state election, in which his party only gained 24.5%, making it the party's worst election result in the state. Moss was a SPD delegate to the Federal Convention for the purpose of electing the President of Germany in 2010 and 2012. After the 2012 state election, the SPD went into coalition with the CDU, which before that election had been governing the state in coalition with the Green Party and the Liberals. While the Social Democrats and Left had won enough seats to form a coalition, Moss ruled out such an alliance in favor of a coalition with the CDU led by incumbent Minister President Angret Kramp Karenbauer. As Deputy Minister President, he took over responsibility for the economy, transport, and employment. Following the 2013 federal elections, Moss was part of the SPD team in the negotiations with the CDU-CSU on a coalition agreement, he was a member of the Energy Policy Working Group led by Peter Altmaier and Hannelore Kraft. On December 17, 2013, he was sworn in as the Minister of Justice and Consumer Protection in the Third Cabinet of Chancellor Angela Merkel, succeeding Sabine Luthius or Schnarrenberger. He left his position of Deputy Minister President of the Tsarland and Minister of Economy, Labor, Energy and Transport he was holding since May 9, 2012. He earned the nickname Prohibition Minister by the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung for his many unapproved legislative proposals. In June 2017, Moss disclosed to the Bild newspaper that he was the recent recipient of an unprecedented number of death threats including a bullet casing in the mailbox of his private residence. He attributed the threats to dissatisfaction with current German immigration policy. 
Following the release of the Senate Intelligence Committee report on CIA torture in December 2014, Moss told German newspaper Bild, the CIA's practice of torture is gruesome everybody involved must be legally prosecuted. Political Career In early 2015, Moss successfully introduced a new law meant to mitigate radical Islamist attacks by making it a criminal offense to travel abroad to receive military training. Shortly after, he and Interior Minister Thomas de Maizier jointly submitted a draft law permitting the temporary retention of Internet and telephone data excluding email traffic to aid criminal investigations. In July 2015, Moss announced plans to amend Germany's penal code on sexual assault in accordance with the Istanbul Convention of the Council of Europe. The reform is to punish abuse which exploits a victim's fear of a perceived menace and tighten sentences in rape cases. In August 2015, Moss initiated the dismissal and retirement of Chief Federal Prosecutor Harold Range. His ministry had questioned Range's decision to open a much-criticized treason investigation against journalists of Netspolitik.org who had reported about plans of Germany's domestic spy agency the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution to expand surveillance of online communication. Range, meanwhile, had accused the government of interfering in the investigation. In a 2014 interview with the Financial Times, Moss called it not acceptable that Google dominates the search engine world, and is able to rank its search results in a manner apt to promote its own business interests. In 2015, he endorsed criticism expressed by Federation of German Consumer Organizations which held that Facebook's data protection terms were too vague. Later that year, he publicly accused Facebook of doing too little to thwart racist posts and hate comments on the social media platform. After the Netspolitik scandal in 2015, where a German-language blog leaked top-secret documents, Moss proposed new legislation called Data Stolen Goods. ULF Buermeyer a judge of the district court in Berlin cautioned that this anti-whistleblower law would be a massive attack on democracy and freedom of speech. The law was passed as Section 202D of the German Penal Code by the Bundestag on October 16, 2015. In early 2017, Moss proposed the Netzwerk Durchsetzungs Jesus to combat online hate speech and fake news. The United Nations responded with a letter, warning that several democratic freedoms were under attack. The proposed law was met with criticism throughout Germany from industry associations, IT experts, scientists, net politicians, lawyers, privacy activists, and civil rights campaigners who regard it as unconstitutional and defiant of EU law and warn of catastrophic effects for freedom of expression causing online platforms to drastically censor online speech, resulting in privatization of legal enforcement and abolishing online anonymity. Political Positions Homeland Security The law was passed on June 30, 2017. It also requires social networks, such as Facebook and Twitter, to publish a biannual report on received complaints and how they dealt with them. Fines of up to 50 million euros are possible for companies that systematically refuse to act or do not set up a proper complaint management system and some warn that this threat of punishment may motivate companies to delete content rather than risk punishment. Crime and Prosecutions Digital Policy Anti-whistleblower law Freedom of speech State Trojan horse surveillance On June 22, 2017, 
Moss expanded by 27 the number of offenses for which a lawful online search using malware can be used. Experts and civil rights defenders have strongly criticized the law for being a gross provocation, violating privacy, and undermining cybersecurity. Moss has also been accused of using tricks for the proceeding of passing these amendments and using a backdoor that has nothing to do with democratic debate culture. After the massive sexual assaults of New Year 2016 in Cologne, Heiko Moss wanted to reform sexual prosecution laws. Tonio Walter, writing an op-ed in Die Zeit, said that the law was overly broad, under a proposed ban on groping, he claimed, a wife could be punished for embracing her husband from behind while rules against sex by coercion could punish a boss whose employee consented to sex under a fear of losing the job. Walter likewise said that the penalty of 10 years in prison for a sexual assault and 15 for rape by coercion would be too much, noting that non-sexual assaults received a lesser penalty under the laws. In April 2016, Moss called for a legal ban on sexist advertisements, which reduce women or men to sexual objects. Germany's Association of Communications Agencies observed that it is a subjective matter of taste whether an advertisement is sexist or not. FDP leader Christian Lindner remarked that the proposed ban indicated a similar mindset as radical Islamic leaders. Gender Policy Moss enjoys football and is a triathlete. He is married and has two children. Law Governing Sexual Offenses Sexist Advertisement Other Activities Regulatory Agencies Corporate Board Nonprofit Organizations Personal Life